Hey, welcome back everyone, it's Caleb from Caleb the Video Maker 2, and in the last video we talked about installing SQL Server 2016, and I said the next step was to install SSMS, or SQL Server Management Studio. But before we do that, I wanted to talk a little bit more about what we already have installed. So once you install this database, there's a cool tool you can use. If you open your start menu and go to All Apps, you will find something known as SQL Server 2016 Configuration Manager. Now within this tool, you can do all kinds of configurations, but one of the ones I wanted to point out is under on the side here, SQL Server Services. So services are things that run in the background on your computer. So, for example, when we start up our computer, it's automatically going to start our SQL Server database. And it's just going to continue running as we are using our computer. To see all of those services, you can go to the Start menu and type in Services. Open that. And if you scroll through here, and you can see we have SQL Server right here. And there's actually two types. There's Microsoft, SQL Server, and then SQL Express. SQL Express is basically a smaller, slimmed down version of the full SQL Server that you can use free for production. Here you can stop the service and start it again, but you can also do the same thing in the SQL Server Configuration Manager. So up here we have SQL Server and we'll go to the full version and right here you can right click and for example, we can restart it if for any reason we need to restart the server. So that is how you restart your SQL Server if you ever need to do that. But let's put that down for now and let's click install SSMS. We will go with this one right here as that's the most stable release. So we're going to give this a run and it's really simple. I mean, you guys probably don't need a whole lot of help learning how to install things, but I just want to make sure I cover all grounds so that way no one's lost, no one <laughs> has no idea what's going on. I want to make sure we're all on the same page so once we start studying this in the next video, we can just go through it and not hit a bunch of walls. So we're going to have to let this install and it might have to go through and install a bunch of other stuff. We'll just let it do its thing and we'll be back in just a little bit. All right, so it's done. Close that and now we can open up all apps and here's the shortcut Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. I'm gonna pin that to the start menu so I can find that. <laughs> and now let's open that. When you first open it, you're going to need to connect. So I connected to localhost, and where did I get that from? Well, when we installed it, there was a bunch of information that popped up at the end, and that was part of it. That's why I took a snapshot of it. So you can see here, localhost. So this is the app we are going to be using to type our SQL statements. Now to actually write some SQL, we go to the new query. And we can do anything in here, such as select 5 times 5. And it gives us the result, 25. So over here, inside a local host, you can see our databases here. And within each database, you're going to have tables and a bunch of other good stuff. <laughs> we'll, we'll be getting into all of that in the upcoming videos, but I just want to make sure you guys get this application running because that is what's important for the upcoming videos. If you, by any chance, have another server you want to connect to, you can click this little green button over here and you can type in whatever you need over here. So as you can see, I just connected to the dot, which is another way to say localhost. You can see in here, we're gonna have the same databases. These are all called panels, and if you, by any chance, screw everything up, there is a way to reset your panels to the default. So all you gotta do is click Window, and then Reset Window Layout. And there you go. So I think that's enough to get you all started. Obviously, there's a whole lot more to learn, but on the bright side, we're not going to have to figure out how to install everything again. <laughs> we got that done, so now we can start working on actually studying SQL statements. So thanks, guys. Uh, be sure to check out the next video, and I will see you then. And as always, please be sure to click like and subscribe.